Welcome back to Retro Asylum. What do you get when you cross Moon Patrol with a Vectrex? Let's take a look. Well, of course, the answer is Vectrex Patrol by Christoph Tutz of Touchtronics, a Vectrex homebrew title that has been in the making for the past five years. So let's open this extremely well-produced box up and see what it has to offer. As you can see, the instructions are very colourful and are of a very high standard, which is not something we often see these days, especially from a homebrew title. Anyway, the instructions are spot on and not only explain how to play the game, but also how best to configure the screen of the Vectrex, which I highly recommend you do before playing. The cartridge itself appears to be identical to the original CGE carts used back in 1982, which is really nice. Also included, just like the original Vectrex games back in the 80s, is an overlay. Originally, Kristoff did offer two styles of overlay, but the special more expensive version has now sold out, so we've only got the standard overlay here. It's still of a very high quality and it makes the game pop with colour. It really does. Okay, so the packaging, instructions, overlay, etc. are presented just as good, if not better, than a commercial release back from 1982. But what about the actual game itself? Well, before I start with my thoughts on the game, I think that I'd better confess. I am a big fan of Moon Patrol, the IRM coin-op which this game is based on, and I'm also a huge fan of the Vectrex. Really when you think about it, the game shouldn't work well on a vector system. The original arcade version used a traditional raster display. It was the first game with parallax scrolling, and it had great pixel art for the time. However, the vector graphics on Vector Patrol are jaw-droppingly good. The way those vectors pop through the colourful overlay is a sight to behold. Our video footage doesn't do the game justice. Not only does the game feature parallax scrolling like the arcade original, but when you look closer you will notice the attention that Kristoff has taken. The backgrounds are nicely detailed and animated. Lava runs down the volcanoes in the mountains. Lights flicker on the buildings and the stars twinkle in the sky. Even the explosions have this lovely fade effect, which looks superb. Okay, so we've established that it's an awesome looking game. But how does it play? Well, I think I've fallen in love with the gameplay. The game takes the original Moon Patrol by the scruff of the neck and shows it how it should be done and Moon Patrol was already a great game in the first place. It can be very tough at times, but never unfair. The controls work extremely well and feel very responsive. Reaching the next checkpoint is never impossible and there are a number of difficulty settings if you are finding things too tough. As you can probably hear, the game sound is superb and really pushes the AY chip. We are treated to some great sound effects and tunes, including two versions of the iconic Moon Patrol theme and a great rendition of Walking on the Moon by the police. There is even a very impressive cutscene which is shown in between some of the courses. As you can tell, I really enjoy playing Vector Patrol and I can only commend Christoph Tutz for pulling off such an impressive game on an aging system. To put it simply, if you own a Vectrex, then you must buy this game. You owe it to yourself. 